Hello everyone, uh, we are uh, testing out version 24.16, this is 10.0.1, a very minor quick update, five days later. Um, I'm not sure, it just says bug fixes and improvements, but I think what's notably improved is probably um, cabin, uh, the cabin camera. It is used to track our data now. I'm just making a very quick drive, I have work this morning, um, I work from home so I have to come back home and I'm not too close to anything super exciting, but we're going to go into a saloon in North Carolina, a small town, and see how it does with a couple turns and just navigate back and forth. Should be all of 10 minutes. This video is just going to be basically uncut. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. First impressions, um, obviously didn't fix the speed limit sign here, so um, this road is a 45 mile an hour road and there's no sign up until right before you get to the freeway. So we're going to go ahead and mainly up that speed for us. And as you can see, or if you can't see, it is drizzling outside, uh, like mist of rain. We're going to go up, heading up this to 45 mile an hour. Ooh, I wonder if, I think they might have improved acceleration. Um, to that, let's, let's for, I'm going to... Okay, they did not improve deacceleration. It needs to deaccelerate quicker. Um, I'm going to leave it at the speed limit and see how it does. So, again, like I was saying, I think cabin camera, uh, that was good. It didn't slow for that truck. The cabin camera, I think, like Elon said, is going to monitor you for seven days before you can get the beta access. It is critically important that they ensure safe drivers. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna push it. <laughs> Got too close to that truck. That truck wasn't paying attention. Um, it should have gave room to the truck. I don't know why it didn't. And it might be because it says poor weather detected. And it's not even that bad. It might, uh, that also could have been because we went below the highway and it went flipped back and forth between navigate and autopilot and uh, FSD. So that's a good question whether or not it did that. Well, what it didn't do, um, we'll have to review the video if it, the GPS went off at all, but it didn't have the GPS bug. I did email early access about that, so maybe that was one of the things they fixed in this update. Like I said, I was one of the few people to have that issue. So I don't know if that's was just a problem with myself or if um, anyone else had that issue. As far as I could tell in our uh, small group chat of a few testers that um, I was the only one experiencing that issue. And it was only in this area uh, right here. I wasn't anywhere else. When I first got the beta, I did have it in a couple other areas. But otherwise, um, this drive so far not having it, but that doesn't mean anything. I've had that bug every other update since since I got the beta. So it's hard. Okay, we're going a different route. I've never been on this road. Oh, it's stopping at the stop sign to my left. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be doing that. Okay, that's kind of kind of good. We'll take a whole loop around Saluda here. So, I mean, so far there's nothing notable changes. Um, obviously, so far zero disengagements. But um, I think that said 20 mile an hour speed limit when school's in session, which would now count. I think. Um, pretty sure school's in session here. This is. I don't know if this is a, this is a public school. <laughs> Street, then turn right onto Henderson Street. Hmm, pothole there. So, what I'll probably do. Interesting. In 500 feet, turn left onto Gaffney Street, then turn left onto Andrews. 
So obviously my ham is on the wheel, it just wasn't detected. So Ooh, should slip. Wait, what happened? Uh, you see it still has bugs. Look, it completely missed navigation. Is it gonna reroute us? It keeps on messing up. Look at that. So again, there's still bugs to fix. I don't know. There must have been a critical bug. In there you go. Okay. Well, let's... I'm gonna... Oh. Never mind. There's a person behind me now, so I can't turn around there. So, let's actually use this person's driveway. Now turn right onto Florida Street. So clearly that was not a uh, good time. Let's see if it can make it coming back. Is right. again GPS accuracy is not great. This, these issues can't happen. And we're gonna post this again unedited. I'm just gonna make a straight upload to YouTube of this video. And it needs to know to turn. There's a side street right there. Now turn right That's, on this is worse street. than 10.0. I don't remember. I mean, I haven't been on these specific roads right here. That was the road. I'm just going to go ahead and back it up. It missed the road twice. Oh, wait. This is bad, everyone. Wow. Okay, well, clearly 10.01 um, was not the improvement we needed it to be. Uh, again, this isn't... It's stopping too far back from the stop sign. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and stop at the stop sign. Oh, this is actually okay. This is where I had my point, so can't fault that. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and navigate us back. Where am I? Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Okay. Now turn left onto Andrews Street. Okay, I enabled that too early, so that's my fault. That's in five hundred. So bizarre, feet, man. Turn left onto West Main Street. It could just be really poor map data in Saluda, North Carolina. I mean, you can, you, everyone can look up Saluda, North Carolina, and know exactly where I am. So, this is a definite clear issue. It shouldn't rely on map data this much. It should see a road when navigation says, hey, turn left. And we have a very blind turn right here. Wow, it barely didn't go off the road right there. It should have turned earlier, but it didn't go off the road. What I thought it would have done is came down this road and went up the other road and back around, but it just decided to go a complete back way. Okay, so it passed the stop sign. And it's creeping because to my left there's a bridge and you can't park. I can see if cars are coming, but the car probably can't see. Ooh, okay. In 500 feet, turn left onto Charles Street. What's it then doing? Turn right onto Seminary Street. This is odd. It rerouted us from a normal way. This is. It's never done done that. But what would it do it? This is a, a more complicated. That's not a road. Okay. 
everyone again this is my honest first impressions and this is what everyone has seen first as well I don't know what happened with mapping but they obviously messed up my area and this is not great for my area I think California will be fantastic but um Salute to North Carolina this is um it's not great the the road if you want to see what road it missed, go ahead and go into Google Maps. Go to Street View. I wouldn't even call it a road. It was like a little... It was a dirt path behind a building. It was a gravel road. Um, but not really even a gravel road. It just had two tracks in it. And, um, yeah. In feet, so we'll go ahead and manually speed it up a little bit here. It does go up to 35 right here. But then we're also going to turn immediately. So we're going to make sure it turns on the right side of the road here. And it could be the rain. So it made this turn better. This turn was better. Um, so we want to give one improvement to 10.1. Um, that was definitely better. And so it could... Ooh, I'm keeping it from breaking. There's a car behind me. I don't want it, uh, any issues. But um, it could be the rain. This is the first time we've driven in rain since 9.2 in poor weather. So this is definitely not navigating autopilot causing this. This is full self driving and seeing poor weather. And this is not heavy rain, everyone. Uh, now it could be the cameras are dirty on, on the rear and sides. Well, we can find out. Good thing we didn't get that school bus right there. I mean, no, the camera, besides, I mean the rear camera's a little bit muddy, but that's expected. The, but the side cameras are clear. So I don't know why it limits autopilot unless the B pillars are limited, which is common. Uh, in our area, because of the temperature differential, uh, it quite often the B pillars will fog up. Um, like it's a little tiny bit foggy right now, um, but because what happens is, especially if you go from lower to higher elevations where it cools off really rapidly, uh, in the mountains, that's very easy to do, very common. Then the cameras will fog up. Once we get past the freeway here, we'll give our final thoughts and we'll kind of see how it does. I find it odd right here if you get off this exit to my left, it will be 25 mile an hour when you get on this road. See, the speed limit didn't change though, it stays 45. It's like in between the off-ramp and this road, it sets it to 25, and it has to get to right. Oh, now it's going to 25. And then it goes back to 45 as soon as it passes the sign. I, I just wish we could manually update map data, because that after routing issues are fixed, which as you can see, um, well, okay, it's, it's starting to go there. We're gonna, we're, that disengagement didn't count. I'm gonna, it's going to drive a little bit slower so I can talk. But, um, yeah, everyone, that was... I haven't made that exact drive before, but that was not great. Uh, and it was strictly... Those are strictly navigation, mapping, and routing issues. Uh, all of them. Uh, it missed turns, I think, because the nav data was off. You could see as well as I can, and this is your first impressions as much as it was my first impressions. So I don't know what 10.0.1 fixed, but it was not that, everyone. Um, we could blame the rain, but again, rain shouldn't shouldn't be an excuse. And this was light rain. This part of the road is almost dry, right here. So it was raining in Saluda, but just not in this section right here. But everyone, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, the feedback that you give me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.